So I hope everyone is happy and excited. Um, the reason for my picture there is because uh, we're not really going to use the video like we used to, but it's fine. Uh, and it's important because it's my first time teaching grade six. So it's important that I should introduce myself um, to you guys and then also that we can go into the lesson. But besides that, um, I would like to greet everybody. Um, thank you for attending the lesson. Thank you guys for ensuring that you guys do not allow this um, pandemic that has got to us to interrupt your education. And thank you to your parents. My name is Chipo Nosio Longwe. Um, yeah, I, I, I teach math. Let me just say that. I teach math. I love math. Um, because one thing I love about numbers is that numbers you can always rely on. Um, numbers, are, numbers are always the same. 250 divided by 2 will still be the, 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 the quotient of 250 divided by 2 will still be the same answer, uh, the, 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 the same what 125, 10 years from now and 20 years from now. That's the nice, the beauty about maths is that maths, maths really stays the same, well, well, uh, stays the same, but slowly we're evolving because more theories are coming out. You know, one thing we should know is that maths itself is a science. And that's the beauty again of maths, that it's a science of itself because you investigate, you hypothesize, you do everything that you do in the sciences. So if you also, struggling to find your feet in maths because the best way to learn and study maths and actually become a mathematician one day is to find what you find or what, to find the thing that you're passionate about in maths you know maybe you like division maybe you like multiplying maybe you like finding out things you know i, I always tell i always tell my students that you're always going to need maths and you're always going to find yourself in a position where you need maths. The numbers are what we use. Numbers are who we are. The date, these are numbers. These are numbers. If you look at 20, it's numbers. Always, you're going to find yourself in a space where you're going to use numbers. So becoming skilled in mathematics is an art of itself. But we can start the lesson now. Right, uh, guys, one more thing. These are the two ways that you guys can contact me either through Twitter or via email. Any of the two work for me. So you can contact me through Twitter or email. I, I do not mind, I do not mind getting 10,000 emails and 10,000 direct messages. As long as you guys get helped and as long as you guys continue understanding and as long as you guys are fine, I do not mind that at all. Honestly, the more people who communicate with me, the better. Because then I know that not only uh, are you guys participating, but you guys are actually finding your place within everything. And we can also, you know, at the end of the lesson, in the last five minutes when I give you the homework, I will ask you guys for suggestions to say, what would you like in tomorrow's lesson? What should we add? What should we change a bit? All of that so that the, the lessons are more channeled towards you guys that how would you feel more comfortable? What do you understand? Should, should do you want us to increase this pace when, we, when, we, when we're teaching? Do you want us to slow it down? What would you like? But that would be done at the end of the lesson. So today we were looking at division of, uh, of at least four digit by three digit numbers. This is the term three work of grade three. No, sorry, grade six. This is the term three work of grade six. We're looking into now division. So we're dividing basically four digit numbers by three digit numbers. Remember that unless you are aiming to get a decimal, you won't really divide, a, 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 you won't really have a small dividend and a big divisor, right? That's unless you're working with decimals. So in this circumstance today, all we're doing is that we're looking at four digit numbers and we're dividing them by three digit numbers. 
But today, what we're doing is, is without remainders. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing with remainders. And then on Friday, then we're going to be looking at different contexts. So different context is now word problems and all of that. Different context where you find that you are going to divide a four-digit number by a three-digit number. So we're looking at division of at least four-digit numbers by three-digit numbers without remainders. Right. So if we look at division, especially long division, right, we're looking at long division. Um, it's, it's very important that we understand. It's very important that we understand um, that we are, why do we use long division? When you look at long division, it's very important to understand the reason behind long division. Why do we use long division? What is important in long division? So that is, is very crucial. So I would like to know from you guys, you can just quickly raise your hand. Why do we use long division? What is the purpose behind long division? Why is long division important? Because I can find out, the, the, why should we find out why, should, why long division is important is that in maths, you use a specific method to get a specific answer. But you must know why you're using that method. You don't just use a method anyhow, like, no, um, um, I'm just using this number because I feel like it. No, 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 no. You need to, you need to have a reason why you're using a method. If, if we're looking at multiplication, why, why did you use the, why did you, why do you include, why do you look at uh, place value in multiplication? When you're maybe doing three digit multiplication by two digit multiplication, why are, why did you include place values? Why? There's always a why in mathematics. So when you know what the why is, let me even put it down. When you know the why, the reason, then it's very easy for you to work out everything because there's a, always in maths, there's our friend here. Why? Why did we do it? You don't just do anything. You know, it's like life. You don't just do anything without any reason. So we always need to know the why. So you guys, can someone just quickly tell us, can raise your hand so we can unmute you and you can tell us to say the reason why do we use long division? What is the reason that you believe personally that we use long division? What, what inspires us to use long division? What, what makes us, what, what type of questions uh, do, do we use long division with? Um, I see that someone here has said that uh, so you can calculate each number separately. All right. But I want the big why. The big why. Why do we use long division? Why? You can even type it in the chat because it's going to send to me directly um, and our co-host. So you can tell why do we use long division? What is the reason for us to use long division? Answer going once. Answer going twice. Right. I've got one answer here. It says long division helps in breaking the division problem into a sequence of easier steps. Just like all division problems, a large number which is the dividend is divided by another number, which is called the divisor, to give a result called the quotient and sometimes a remainder. Hmm. That's a good reason. That's a good reason. I hope you didn't, uh, but all right. That's a nice reason. The reason why we use long division is because we 
want to be able to divide big numbers, massive numbers, numbers that go into the millions, numbers that go into the hundred thousands. That's the reason why we use long division. Long division is intended for us to use, use, to use humongous numbers, um, big numbers like 1,400,087. That's why we use long division for us to tackle the big numbers. Because if, if I were to ask you guys, what is um, 20 divided by two? Right, if I was to say 20 divided by two, right. It's easy. Some of you would be like 10. But now if I were to say, guys, I have 200,486 and I want to know what is 200,486. Some of you are going to use long division. And, but the secret with long division is always that when we look at long division, we're looking at digits, right? So there are three things that you consider in division. And I'd like you guys to note these down. You've got one thing we call the dividend. Then you've got something we call a divisor. And then you've got something we call a quotient. So your dividend, this friend over here, let me get another color. Our dividend over here, right? Our dividend over here is the number that we are dividing. The number that we are dividing is called a dividend, right? The number that we are dividing is called a dividend. Please jot that down somewhere. The number that we are dividing is called a dividend. The number that we are dividing is called a dividend. Please jot that down somewhere. The number that we are dividing is called a dividend. I'll say it the last time. The number that we are dividing is called a dividend. Right? The number that we are dividing is called a dividend. Then, what is our divisor? The number that we are dividing the dividend by is called the divisor. The number that we are the, the number that we are sharing the dividend, uh, breaking up the dividend with is called the divisor. The number that we are dividing by is called the divisor. The quotient is the result. So our quotient is called what? This thing over here. Our quotient is called the result. The result is what we call the quotient. The result of, of the whole process is called a quotient. The result, the final result is called a quotient. So in long division, what is important is what we call the process. You divide, you multiply, you divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. It's a repeated process. Divide, then you multiply, then you subtract, then you bring down. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. It is a repeated process. Right. Are there any questions for now? Before I go into the whole process itself, are there any questions for now before I go into the whole process itself? Because now we're going to actually attack the process. We're going to actually look at the process and see, are we figuring it out? Are we getting there? Are we fine? Right, so we're going to actually go in to the, the process. We're going to go into the process. We're going to go into the process. So, 
Are there any questions? Questions going once. Any questions before we go into the process? Before we go into the process, are there any questions? All right. All right. So I see in the chat there are no questions. Guys, whatever you need, we will talk about it. But right now, let's focus on long division. Because once you've grasped this concept, one day towards the end, once once to get towards the end of our, let's say our term or the period that we are together, I'm going to show you how all of these concepts that you learn in grade six interlink. I'm going to show you how all of them come together. You're going to see, you're going to see that literally all of this time you've been learning the same thing. So you're going to see that all of this time you've been learning the same thing right you've been learning the same thing so when we when we get closer to the end i'm going to show you that all of these things that we've been learning are actually the same thing but i'd want to now I, I just want to know that are you guys fine if you guys are fine let me get into the work because um i know that i can stay on one thing for quite some time let us Start here. No, no, no. Let us start right here. Because we're doing three digit by four digit. So let us start right here. Right. So I've got I've got a, a the sum is as follows. The sum is asking for twenty thousand. 250 divided by 250. 20,250 divided by 250. Right. So, process says, the process of long divisions tells us that we divide, then we multiply, then we subtract, then we bring down. That is what process is telling us. Process is telling us we divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. That is what process is telling us. That is what the, 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 the procedure is telling us. That the process that we follow is first we divide, then we subtract, then multiply, subtract, bring down. Now, what you do is that you're looking at it at a digit by digit system. Digit for digit system. How? You start the question. Can I? Now, remember in long division, one thing I would like you guys to note down. You never, ever, 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 ever divide a, 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 a small number by a big number. You will never, ever, ever, ever in long division say 81 divided by 3,000. No, 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 no. You are messing up the process. In long division, it's important to remember that. Why? It starts here by the dividing process, where now you need to check that when I look at these particular digits, right, in the number, I am not dividing a small number by a big number. I am actually doing myself a favor by saying, if it's 250, when I'm dividing the digits, I'm either looking for, for 250, uh, or when I say that if I'm dividing by 250, I'm wanting to divide something that is more than 250. So when I'm looking at 250, I'm dividing by something, I'm dividing something that is more than 250. So we start here. 250 divide, uh, what, two, or we say two, because you, you, this is our divisor. Two divided by 250, we don't do that, smaller. Uh, we'll go to the next one, 20, too small. 202, too small. 2,025, that works out. 
2025 works out. So now, the questions you ask is, question number one, in 2025, how many 250s do I find? In 2025, how many 250s do I find? You can count in 250. It's 250, it's 500, it's 750, right? It's uh, uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a thousand. It's one thousand two hundred and fifty. It's one thousand five hundred. It's one thousand seven hundred and fifty. It's two thousand. Remember that you do not want to go over the particular number that you are dividing into, because here now we want to divide into two thousand and twenty-five. So we find that. When now we, we, we are counting how many 250s or how many times can 2025 be divided by 250, we have to stop at 2000 because the minute we go over 2000, we have gone over our number. Then we count. It's eight times. It appears eight times. Eight times 250 is what? 2000. 2000 2025 minus 2000 gives me 25. Uh, I bring down the zero. I find myself with 250. I start dividing here again. 250, 250 divided by 250 or 250 into 250 goes once. One times 250 is 250. 250 minus 250 is zero. My answer is 81. So you follow the process. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Whenever you buy the divide process, you either looking for the number, each time when you're looking how many times. So you're either looking in your mind for the number that uh, for, for this uh, for the exact number or the for basically the multiples. Let me put it that way. Because looking for the right word. We're looking for what? The multiples of 250. And in in, in sense with the number that we're dividing. So looking at the multiples of 250, do we find 2025? No. So we look at the numbers before that and we find, wait, there's a 2000. There's a 2000 that is a multiple of 25. How many times does, uh, how many times is that 250 in 2000? Eight times, eight times 250, 2000. 2025 minus two, 2000 is, is, is what? 25. Bring down the zero. 20, 250, divide, 20, 250 divided by 250, or um, uh, it's, it's once, obviously, because you're dividing the same number over the same number, right? So one times that, you subtract these two, you get zero. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Are there any questions from anyone? Any questions? Are there anyone confused? Because it's just it, it, it's a, a it's a, a it's it's a repetitive process. It's a process that repeats itself. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. When you buy here, you're looking for ah, 250. Is this number that I want to divide into? or the digits that I want to divide into a multiple of this, or there's a number before that, which is a multiple of that. That's why I keep on using the word of multiples because you're going to count in this number to see how many times does it appear within that multiple that you, 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 you looked for. You understand? All right. So you're going to, that's the, 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 the most important part. The most important, the crucial part is that that number that I'm dealing with, that number that, that particular number that I'm dealing with, that number that I've found, do I, do I find, do I find, do, did I, do I find it, the, the multiples? Because that's one important thing. Right. Please write this down. I'll give you guys uh, two minutes to write this down. Please write this down. We've got two minutes to write this down.
we have about 20 minutes left in our lesson so we have more than enough time please guys and don't be afraid to ask questions you know um i'm a man who loves questions because questions either show that you do not understand or that you can even tell me to say that um this is how i think about it because remember it's maths and we're looking for the why So the way in which you think about that thing, the way in which you think about that thing is, is going to give us the why. It's going to give us the why. It's going to give us the why. To say, no, I thought about it and it gets the why. We want to get the why. The why, the why I was speaking about earlier on. Why are we doing it? why it, it all links together. Then you'll see later on how everything actually works together. All right, so if you can just also give me a quick notification in the chat that you're done writing this down, then I'll be happy to go to the next slide. Then we're going to do some classwork. And then after the classwork, then we go straight to the homework where we can have a quick discussion on what would you guys like to be added to the coming lesson that is tomorrow? Well, we're going to be doing more exercises and it's going to become a bit more challenging. Just a little bit more challenging. Just a little bit more challenging. Right. I think I've got more than enough people who told me that they are done. Let us go into the next example. Let us go into the next example. Eighty-eight. Sorry. Eighty-eight into eleven thousand six hundred and sixteen. Who can explain this to us on how it actually happened? How did they get to one hundred and thirty-two? as the quotient 88 into 11,616 who is willing just to try for us quickly to explain this um to us how did you get there who is willing to just try to explain to us how did we get to 132 how did we get to 100 and um, 132 as our quotient as our result when dividing 11,616 by 88. Anyone? 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 Please, please, please. Anyone? Anyone? Who can explain to us how did they get it? Going once, going twice, gone. All right, seems that some of you might be worried. It's fine. You can get, it's fine. Right, let's look at it. I've got 88. Now I'm looking for within these digits. All right. I'm looking for within these digits a number that is big, that is, that is the, bigger than 88, where I can divide 88, uh, that I can divide by 88 within the digits. So I start, I won't be the one, it won't be the 11, but it can't be the 116. So how many times does the 116, uh, uh, does 88 go into 116? Thinking about it goes once, right? Because if it goes, if I was going to say 88 plus, sorry, 88, it's, I think it's 100 and my maths, if my maths is correct, it's going to give me 176. Yes, 176. Yes, it is. So I don't want 176. Right? I want, I, I want to get to a number that I know that is, is, I can divide properly. So I know that it's only going to be one time. 
one times, let me put the, the steps down for you. Then we'll go into the classwork. So it's what? It is divide, uh, it's divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. What's the window? So I've got 88 into 116. I know that, I know that I, 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 I want to get to the, I, I either I'm looking for a multiple or the specific number that I want here. I know that 116 is not a multiple of, of 88. So I go the one before that, which is 88 itself. So I know it goes what? One times 88 is 88. 116 minus 88 is 28. Bring down the one. Then I have 281. 88 into 281 goes how many times? 281 is not a multiple of 88. So I have to look for something that goes before it, which would be not 264, which is what? Three times. Three times. Uh, uh, so I put there three times. Three times 88 is 264. I subtract these two. I get an answer of 17. Bring down the six. Then I know. 176, which is a multiple of 88 because 88 plus 88 gives us 176. So I know it's two times. Two times 88 is 176. 176 minus 176 is zero. So my final answer is 132. So it's always the same step, guys. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Divide, multiply subtract, bring down. And you're always going to be counting. So I can suggest that to make it easier for you guys, sometimes write it out, 88 up to what, like timetable form. 88 times one is 88, 88 times two, 88 times three, 88 times four, 88 times five, 88 times six, 80 up to 10. Then you know that when you're doing the long division process, you can you find that your answer is here. Because what? Well, while we're doing this, we're looking for what? Multiples of 88. So that we can eventually divide these digits by 88 to get our quotient so that we know that what 11,616 divided by 88 gives me 132. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Then we can just go to a quick class exercise that you guys will have a few minutes to do, just to do a two questions, two questions, then we're going to the homework. All right. Seems that there are no questions at all. Right. Do me the biggest favor of them all. I'll give you guys up to 22 to do this for me. I want you guys to do Number one, and okay, let's be easy. Number three, these two. Wow. Quickly do that now. I'll give you two and a half minutes each, so it's five minutes for both of them. Quickly do both of them now. This one and this one. Your time has started. Your five minutes have started. Twelve and a half minutes each for it. So do this one and this one. No calculators, please, guys. Follow the process. Do the process. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. 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 Always, always, always do the process. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down.
divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Quickly do these two and then we're going to the corrections. Um, I see that you guys, can you guys hear me now? I asked you guys to do these two questions. That was what I said now. I hear that some of you can't hear me. Okay, you can hear me. So just do these two exercises here. The two questions there, and then that would be awesome. Same process, guys. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Divide, multiply, subtract. Bring down. Just do those two questions. That would be awesome for me now. That would be fantastic. Just to do those two questions. Then we go into the homework. But if there's anybody who has a question um, that they want to raise, uh, you can raise it now. And please, please, guys, if you're done, just tell me in the chat so that I can know that you're done. Um, yeah. As long as you're done with the first one, I won't, I won't, uh, I won't be against you about that. As long as you're done with the first one, because then we can quickly do corrections. And then after we quickly do corrections, then go to our homework and then you guys tell me for the last five minutes uh, belong to you guys. So you guys can tell me what would you like me to add tomorrow? Um, what would you like me to, to add tomorrow that you feel that is important as well in terms of long division? Because we're dealing with long division now. That is what our the most important part is you've guys got a minute left one full minute left one minute left please no calculators no calculators at all No calculators at all. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, three, two, one. So let us go to the corrections because the last five minutes belong to you. I will look at this one. Oopsies. These ones had quotients. Oopsie, I did not see that. These ones had remainders, but it's fine. It's fine. Let us. Um, look at this as quick as possible they had remainders right i did i thought the lesson was without remainders but let's look at the first one it's fine it was my mistake let's look at the first one it said 665 divided by uh what no 2151 divided by 665. 2,151 divided by 665. So dividing this one by this one, right? I'm looking at 
How many times does this go into this one? By the looks of it, if you count in 665, you find that 2,151 2, 2, is not a multiple of 665. So counting in there, you find that you find that you find 1,995, which is how many times? Three times. Three times 665 is 1,995. You subtract the two, get an answer of one. Uh, you get an uh, an answer of what? Of of 156 and then you have to stop there this remains stays as a remainder that will look at remainders tomorrow but what's important guys is the practice of dividing multiplying subtracting and bringing down oopsie that's what's important here the most important is Dividing, multiplying, subtracting, and bringing it down. That's the most important part here. That's what's also going to help you within your homework. Dividing, multiplying, subtracting, bringing it down. Dividing, multiplying, subtracting, bringing it down. Right. Um... So let's go here. Here is your homework. Quickly write this down because we have three minutes left, unfortunately. So write this down quickly. Just write down, here is your homework. And as I promised you guys that uh, this is the time now you get to raise your hands. Um, just do these first three as a homework. Or you can take a screenshot or or whatever you can to get down the homework. Here is your homework. But these three are the most important for tomorrow. These three are the most important for tomorrow. So here is your homework. Yes. Here is your homework. Uh, besides that, I would like to find out from you guys right now quickly while you're writing down the homework. Uh, what would you like us to add to tomorrow's lesson? What would you guys like us to add uh, to tomorrow's lesson? Um, what would you want me to add to tomorrow's lesson? Because um, right now I want you guys to write down the homework. Okay, so I see someone wants us to talk about multiplication. There will come a time where we deal with multiplication. All right. So you guys have specific topics that are problematic. It's fine. It will also be good that you can drop me an email as well. Just drop me an email about any topic that you might find a problem. You know that some people, you, you know that some, some things are problematic. But uh, let me do this. Let me do this, let me do this, let me do this. Let me do screen grab, screen grab. Right, so I've got it. I've got the suggestions that you guys have, that you guys want us to look at, or myself to look at at a later stage. But when it comes to long division, I feel that the only suggestion was that you guys want it to be a bit more difficult, which I can do for you guys. It would not be a problem. So tomorrow, what we're going to look at is tomorrow what, what our focus is going to be that uh, our focus tomorrow is going to be more questions revolving long division. So there's going to be more questions revolving around long division. And you guys are going, we're going to be practicing more the, the questions revolving around long division. So please prepare your minds. If you're not too sure on your times tables, please alert me. Tell me, sir, I don't understand the timetables. I get confused with the times tables. I am here to help. I am here to help. Whatever problems you guys have, please always tell me. Right. Besides that, besides that, uh, I love you guys. You are an awesome bunch. Then it's bye for me. Bye-bye.